Welcome to the Learning Box by Punton Kids, your favorite channel where learning never ends. So, all my babies, are you all ready for the session today? And if you all remember playing that game, the body bingo, what did we learn in that? Yes, we learned about our body parts and our sensitive senses. So, let's have a quick revision and then I'm going to show you something very exciting. So don't look at this right now. Yeah, I'm going to tell you what it is for. Yes. So come on, everyone quickly revise your senses. Come on, tell me what do we do with our ears? What do we do? The ears are the sense organs and which is the sense? What do we do with our ears? We here with our ears. Superb. And what do we do with our nose? Come on, tell me. Excellent. And you earned your smiley. We smell with our nose. And we also breathe in with our nose. Yes? Okay. And what do we do with the help of our eyes? What do we do with the help of our eyes? Excellent. We see with our eyes. See, I can see a fan on the ceiling. I can see a light on the ceiling. I can see a window on the side of the wall. Yes. So we see with our eyes. And what do we do? What do we do with the help of our tongue? What do we do with the help of our tongue? Excellent. We taste yummy, yummy food. And the yummy, yummy food goes in our tummy. And one last one, come on. What do we do with the help of our skin? What do we do with the help of our skin? See, our skin is all over our body, on our face, on our neck, on our chest, stomach, arms, legs, everywhere. So what do we do with the help of our skin? We feel with our skin. Excellent, yes. We feel cold, we feel hot, we feel smooth, we feel rough. So we feel with the help of our skin. And if you all remember, I told you last time, there are lots of things that are hidden under the skin, which we can't see. Yes. Do you all want to see what's inside? What's underneath the skin? What all do we have in our body? Yeah. Those are called internal organs. What are they called? Internal organs. Yes. So see, I have a body outline here and what are we going to do today? We are going to learn about our internal organs and how they help us. Alright, are we ready? Yes? Come on, this is the head. And what do you think is inside the head? Inside here, see we have skin and then we have our head here, that's the skull. What do we have inside? Yes! Superb! We have a brain here, right on top in the head. See, we have a brain there. And the brain is the most important part of our body. See, it's right on top. The brain helps us to think, helps us to remember. And it also sends signals to all the other parts of the body. When the brain tells the hand to lift, it lifts. When the brain tells the leg to move, it moves. So the brain helps us to think, remember and it makes all our body parts do all the work. Without the brain, our body parts won't be able to do anything. So it's the most important organ. Okay? How do you even remember your name? Yeah, like my name is Lena. How do I remember my name? Because the brain helps me to remember my name. Okay. And then when we go down, let's see what else do we have. In the neck, we have the thyroid gland. See, this is called the thyroid gland. And it is in the neck. This is the thyroid 
gland and this thyroid gland helps us to grow up and to develop yes see we've all become big babies now yeah but do you think you were so big when you came out of mama's tummy no you were so tiny and mama used to wrap you in a white cloth and keep so how did you grow up how did you become tall how do we become fat how do we develop we develop with the help of the thyroid gland yes what is this thyroid gland this helps us to grow and we grow until the age of 18 to 21 yes then we stop growing taller and taller yeah but we can still grow fat and we can go thin okay come on now let's see what's the next one that i have here come on thing 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 can you all see what is this see what's this what's this this is our stomach what's this it's our stomach that's where all the yummy yummy food that we eat goes in into the tummy in the stomach yes and what does the stomach do it breaks all the food yes it digests it yes it breaks the food it's called digestion the stomach helps us to digest our food yes that means it breaks it down into smaller juices and it uses all the nutrients that means it uses all the healthy food okay so that's our stomach and now let's see beep 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 what is that that's our heart what's this our heart beat 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 it keeps pumping blood like this yes it pumps blood to all the different parts of our body yes have you all all seen it yeah sometimes when we fall down and we get hurt if we get hurt on our hand it starts bleeding if we get hurt on the cheek it starts bleeding if we get hurt on our knees it starts bleeding if we get hurt on our elbow it starts bleeding so that means there's blood everywhere in the body and how does this blood go in the body everywhere who sends it it's the heart the heart beats and it sends blood to the entire body okay and now let's see what do we have next what is this it comes right here this is the liver what is this this is the liver and the liver also similar to the stomach helps in digesting food but what does the liver do the liver keeps only the good food and whatever bad food that is there bad food means the food that the body does not need the liver helps the body to flush it out helps the body to throw it out from the system okay so that's our liver Yeah, so many body parts. My God, there's so much inside under the skin. And see, what do we have here? We have the what is this? These are the lungs. These are our lungs. They are in the chest. And what do the lungs do? Come on, see. we breathe in from the nose that means we take in air from the nose and the air goes in the lungs and uses all the oxygen and throws out the carbon dioxide what do the lungs do the lungs help the body to use the oxygen and throw out the carbon dioxide so when we breathe in from our nose oxygen and carbon dioxide both go in so what do these lungs do they use the oxygen and they throw out the carbon dioxide 
Yes. Come on, let me see all of you breathe in and keep your hand over here on the chest. Okay. And now what are you going to do? Take a deep breath in. So when you breathe in, your stomach and your chest has to come out. Okay, come on. And now breathe out. So in just this much time, what was the magic that the lungs did? The lungs used the oxygen and threw out the carbon dioxide because our body does not need carbon dioxide. Yes, excellent job. Yes, my babies are doing such a good job. And look what I have here. This is our spleen. The spleen is located somewhere under the stomach on this side. This is the spleen. And you know, it's so small but it's so important to the body because this spleen helps our body to create cells which cleans the blood. And when we fall sick <coughs> and we have fever, yes, our body has no energy. So it is the spleen that helps in creating those cells which fight away the germs. Yes, because when we have fever, <coughs> our throat is bad, we need to fight those germs away, right? So the spleen creates cells which help us to fight away the germs okay so it's the spleen it helps us to do dishum dishum yes so that's our spleen and let's see what else do we have so much going on inside our body which we can't see and see these are our intestines what are these intestines and the intestines over here, again, along with the stomach and the liver, help in digesting the food. It helps in digesting the food. It uses all the good food, the healthy food. And what does it do? It flushes out the food that the body does not need. And this is how the urine and the stool Yes, that is when we go for peeing or we go for potty. So it's the intestine who makes the urine, the susu and the potty. Okay, so this is the intestine. And look what else do we have here. These are our kidneys on both the sides. We have kidneys. See, these are the kidneys. And how do the kidneys help us? How do the kidneys help us? Yes. So we eat food and what do we drink? Yes, we drink water. We drink different juices. And sometimes we are naughty and we drink thumbs up, Coke, Pepsi. Yes. So the kidneys maintain the level of the water. Yes. So the kidneys help the body to keep the water the liquid that is required so when we drink a lot of thumbs up and pepsi and coke what do you think the kidneys do they flush it out through the intestines they flush it out yes and when we drink water and juices what do the kidneys do they use all the nutrients that means all the good things from the juice and the water and only the remaining they flush it out from the intestine. Okay, so these are our kidneys. Don't trouble the kidneys. Don't drink too much thumbs up and Pepsi and Coke. Okay, and now let's see what do we have here. This is the pancreas. What are this? This is the pancreas these are called the pancreas and the pancreas also help the liver the stomach to digest all the food and the intestine so all these parts are the part of the digestive system and they help in digesting food yes but the pancreas mainly helps in maintaining sugar level Okay, so we should not even have too much sugar. 
you can have little sugar but not lots so not too many chocolates just one chocolate in a day a small one okay and now i'm going to show you one last part for today this is a bladder what is this this is the bladder so when the intestine makes all the pee the urine it sends the urine the pee pee to the bladder and the bladder becomes big it expands to hold the urine okay so all the urine all the pee pee is collected there because we can't keep going to the washroom every 2 minutes no so it gets collected in the bladder yes and when the bladder becomes full then we have to run to the washroom and pass the urine out then the bladder flattens again okay and see what i have here these are our blood cells and these blood cells are all over the body in the legs in the arms in the hands and fingers in the chest in the face in the head everywhere these blood cells are everywhere and these blood cells mainly help the lungs to throw away all the carbon dioxide yes it collects the blood cells collect all the carbon dioxide from the different parts of the body sends it to the lungs and the lungs throw the carbon dioxide out okay So tell me have all of you learnt about internal organs today what are internal organs the organs which are inside our body under the skin so we cannot see them so because they are inside the body they are called internal organs okay excellent job so let's have a very quick revision what is this in the head what do we have which internal organ is this yes that's our brain and it's the most important part of the body it helps us to think to remember and to do everything that we do yes only if the brain sends the message to the different parts of the body those parts move okay and then what do we have over here which gland do we have on the throat see which gland do we have here what is this called yes it's the thyroid gland and the thyroid gland helps us to grow and what are these these are our lungs and the lungs what do they do they use the oxygen from the air and throw out the carbon dioxide and what is this that's the heart and the heart goes beat 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 and it pumps blood and sends it across to the entire body and what else do we have here hidden inside we have the stomach we have the liver see and we have the intestines all of these help in digesting the food the pancreas they help in digesting the food and they use up all the food that the body needs and throw away the food that the body does not need yes excellent job all you babies are sitting so well and listening and so you all deserve two two smileys today very good and for the next time I have something very interesting so don't forget to come back I'm going to tell you some fascinating facts about food food for the body yes so if you have liked learned then please share and subscribe bye see you soon